Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about medulloblastoma. Medulloblastoma is a childhood brain tumor. It is a malignant tumor. It is a brain cancer. Brain tumors are most common solid tumors in children and in adolescents. Tumor means abnormal mass of tissue. It may be a benign tumor or it may be a cancer. Every year, about 2,500 to 5,000 brain tumors are diagnosed in the United States of America. About 20% of childhood cancers are brain cancers. Nearly 70% of brain cancers are located in the posterior cranial fossa below the tentorium cerebelli. The tentorium cerebelli is a fold of dura mater. It separates the occipital lobe of the brain from the cerebellum and also the temporal lobe of the brain from the cerebellum. Medulloblastoma of the cerebellum is the most common childhood brain tumor. And the ages are around from 0 to 4 years in many cases. Other childhood brain tumors are pilocytic astrocytoma, ages between 5 to 10 years. Malignant glioma ages between 10 to 15 years, craniopharyngioma and pituitary adenoma ages 15 to 19 years. So here is the MRI of the brain tumor. Here is the medulloblastoma. It is a tumor of the cerebellum. Usually it is in the midline in children, maybe on the cerebellar hemisphere, in adult on one side, but usually in the children in the midline, it is below the tentorium cerebelli. And here it seems to be in the cerebellar hemisphere like this. And by MRI, we can outline a brain tumor very easily. We can diagnose a brain tumor by MRI without any type of radiation. Okay, here medulloblastoma, a childhood brain tumor. Here we are looking in the central part of the cerebellum. There is a tumor, and this is a malignant tumor. There is a medulloblastoma. It involves the varmis the junction between two cerebellar hemisphere. It may erode the meninges, maybe the, even the tentorium cerebelli. May they may use the, this other functional area like the visual cortex. May go to the fourth ventricle, may irritate the, the vomiting center, and it may damage the brain stem area, and it may cause blockage of the cerebrospinal fluid that may lead to hydrocephalus. Here the histopathology of the medulloblastoma, we are seeing small cells, blue cells, with scanty cytoplasm and very much prominent crescent-shaped nuclei and sometimes they make some rosette appearance, okay, and they may release some granules and we have also tumor markers for the for the medulloblastoma. So medulloblastoma occurs exclusively in the cerebellum, arises from the external granular layer of the cerebellar cortex. A tumor of embryonal origin with different types of gene mutation. A tumor more common in boys than in girls. A highly malignant tumor that spread over the surface of the cerebellum and often invades the fourth ventricle. And fourth ventricle is a triangular 
space between the cerebellum and the brain stem. So if that is blocked, then there will be chance of hydrocephalus because of blockage of the cerebrospinal fluid. Diffuse tumor nodule may be found on the surface but by the CSF. So a tumor cell, multiple tumor cell may drop along the central canal of the spinal cord or it may follow the CSF pathway may go to the subarachnoid space and maybe over the cerebral, cerebral hemisphere. So there may be metastasis from the middle blastoma of the cerebellum to the, to the other part of the central nervous system. Histologic characteristic, densely cellular sheets of anaplastic cell, small cells with scanned cytoplasm and elongated crescent shaped hyperchromatic nuclei, abundant mitosis because it is a cancer, so a lot of cell division will go on, like a lot of mitosis with Ki67 marker. This is the tumor marker. The tumor may express neurosecretary granule and Homa right rosette may be found in the tumor on histopathological study. Okay, symptoms. What are the symptoms and signs of medulloblastoma? There will be headache when specifically in the morning, maybe entire day headache, but morning headache is more because on sleeping condition there may be more circulation in the brain area. Okay. Headache, seizure may happen, nausea, vomiting. We know the vomiting center in the fourth ventricle area of the brain stem, and the tumor may irritate the vomiting area. Diplopia and loss of balance. Diplomia happen because extracular muscles are innervated by the third cranial nerve, the fourth and sixth cranial nerve. So the nerve may be damaged by the tumor and that may lead to diplopia or double vision because extracular muscle may not work together. Loss of balance is also possible because cerebellum is the, is the part of the central nervous system with the function it maintains balance and equilibrium so that movement should be right direction, right extent, right force that is lost in case of cerebellar lesion and medulloblastoma is exclusively a tumor of the cerebellum. So there will be loss of balance, lethargy and drowsiness as a whole CNS effect and ataxic gait that is a sign of cerebellar dysfunction. Facial weakness, the facial nerve nuclei may be involved in the brain stem and that may lead to facial weakness and dysphagia again the vagus nerve, nerve associated with that of swallowing deglutition, the ninth nerve may be involved because the brain stem is very close to the cerebellum. So cerebellar tumor may damage the nerve supply of the pharynx. So there will be difficulty in swallowing. We call it dysphagia. Hydrocephaly and macrocephaly, especially in infant, they have fontanelli, there is unossified part of the of the skull bone and the this is blockage of the cerebrospinal fluid. The head will be enlarged in size. Okay, that is hydrocephalus. I will get a lot of cerebrospinal fluid inside the cranial cavity more than usual, as because the skull bones has not been has not been ossified properly. So there will be increase in the fontanelli, and there will be hydrocephalus. Eventually, there will be coma and death without treatment. Diagnostic workup best is the MRI treatment in a renowned hospital with multidisciplinary expertise, neurosurgeon, oncologist, neuroradiologist. Okay, everyone should contribute. So we need a big and renowned children hospital for management of medulloblastoma, the childhood a childhood brain tumor. So management by, by surgery. Surgery may be done by endos endoscopically with small opening in the skull and 
removing the tissue and sending it for histopathology. Okay, as much as the cancer tissue should be removed, it is the good, it is the best idea. Chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Prognosis, medulloblastoma is exquisitely radiosensitive. So there's good hope. Surgery and irradiation has 75% survival for five years. And that's all about the medulloblastoma, a childhood brain tumor. It is a brain cancer. We have also other childhood brain tumor. Okay, it, it occurs in the cerebellum, especially in the Burmese area and may cause blockage of cerebrospinal fluid, may cause cerebr the other cranial nerve palsy because it is close to the brain stem. And we have maybe nausea vomiting. So that's all for today and please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.